This is a video series for my grandchildren, but I hope that some of you will find value here also. We're all struggling to navigate through life, so let's help each other do it. Hi, monkeys. Hi, this is Poppy. Today I want to talk to you about something that I think is hard to talk to kids and teenagers about, but we do need to talk about it. Here it is. You have to be very careful whom you trust. We are learning, unfortunately, that there are lots of liars and thieves on the internet. And you guys are on the internet a lot. They pretend to be a company or a person that they're not. So they can get your information and steal something from you. You have to be very careful who you give your information to, why you give it, and how you give it. Be suspicious when someone asks you for information online. But we are also learning that there are lots of liars, even on regular websites. I read websites all the time where I say, that's not true. They say things that just aren't true. And just because it's on the internet doesn't mean you can believe it. Even some of the news media are lying to us, as are politicians and even some business people. I hate to say this because all this sounds like I'm, I'm saying that everyone is bad, but that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that there are more bad people than there should be, and we need to be careful about whom we trust. I know all of you, obviously, I'm your grandfather. And you tend to think people are good and that they want what's best for you and they have your welfare and well-being in mind. Thankfully, lots of the people around you are like that. But you know recently that somebody on the internet tried to steal a lot of money from your aunt, or for those of you in that family, from your mama. Thankfully, she was smart and cautious and prevented a lot of me money being stolen from her and from your family. But it's not just about the internet. In school, there are some kids you can trust and some you can't. You just don't trust everybody. When you get into jobs, there will be some people you can trust and some you can't. When you travel, there will be some people you can trust and some you can't. You have to be careful. When you do business with companies, there will be some people and some companies you can trust and some you can't. In this world, you are wiser to be suspicious at first rather than trusting at first. I hate to say that, but it's true. We're all struggling to navigate through life. We need to help each other. Unfortunately, you'll find it's true even of some of your friends. You'll find out on occasion that sometimes you'll even make friends that you shouldn't have trusted. I'm not trying to make you a, into a suspicious person. Well, about the internet I am. As much as I'm trying to make you into a careful person. Protect yourself. When you find a person you can trust, and there are plenty of those around, it is such a good thing. We need to be able to find people we can trust. On the other side of the coin, on the other side of the issue though, is that you need to be a person whom others can trust. You need to be a person who keeps your promises. Be responsible to get things done. If you say you're going to do them, do it. Don't betray people. Don't tell secrets. Don't spread rumors. Do what you're supposed to do. The only way we can have more trustworthy people in the world is to be 
trustworthy ourselves. I love you and I miss you. I'll see you soon. I can't wait.